Okay, this is the face perfect unit that's gonna get three face power into my single face shop. First step is to mount the face perfect unit on the wall in the mechanical room. And then my electrician, Joel, will mount a separate sub panel that'll have all the breakers in it for all the machines that will run off the three face power. Then he'll drill a hole in the main panel that has the single face power running into it. And then he's gonna put this little collar thing on there. I'm not actually sure what it's called, but it holds the wire that comes into the panel. And this is that wire that he's taken the outside sheath off and then this aluminum sheath and then another layer of rubber coating. And then he's got it down to the wires that he can go feed into the unit. First, he's gonna feed it into the phase perfect unit and then secure it in place with that thing that I was calling a collar before. And then he'll bend that cable up in place and get a rough idea of where to cut it off at. And then grab a recip saw and cut that sucker down to size. And then he's back to stripping the cable down by taking the outer layer off and then that aluminum layer and then the last rubber layer and then he can feed that side of it into the single phase panel. And then tighten that one down on the collar. Then he'll put the ground wire in place and then feed in two of the wires into the single phase power panel. And those two wires will then carry single phase power over to this three phase unit where he'll put them into the right holes and then tighten them down. And then the phase perfect unit will add the third leg and create the three phase power. And then that three phase power has to get out to the other sub panel. So he's got to drill a hole in the side of the panel and then he'll grab these three wires which have the three phase power. He'll insert them into the right slots and then tighten them down. And then from there, those wires will come over to the sub panel that he put up at the beginning. He'll tighten those three wires now into place which again is carrying the three phase power. And then he can grab two breakers and pop them into place for the two new three phase machines that I have out in the shop. And then he can insert the wires into the breakers and tighten them down. And then those wires head up out of the panel, up into the floor joists, through the bathroom, and then out into the main part of the shop where it comes out and then we set it along the top of that dust collection pipe. And then it comes down to the first machine, which is this shaper right here. And then it also continues along the top of that dust collection pipe, then makes a hard left turn comes along this one over here and then down over to this big planer right here, which is actually pretty impressive. Look down inside where it connects right there and then check out around the front here. You're gonna see a pretty intense instrument panel slash motherboard, the brains of the whole operation wiring system. Okay, back to the mechanical room. Joel's gonna flip the breaker on, which is now gonna power up this phase perfect unit. It's gonna go through its wind up phase and then start converting single phase power into beautiful three phase power. And then I'm gonna go out into the main part of the shop, plug in the shaper and see if this whole thing works. Houston, we have liftoff and I've got a big smile on my face.